Hi lovelies, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be doing an acrylic infill with a modesty inspired nail art tutorial using all gel polishes by Madame Glam. So I already went ahead and prepped my client's nails. I dehydrated, I primed and you see me laid down my second coat of primer. So immediately on top of that, I'm going to start my acrylic application. So I'm starting with a small to medium sized bead of clear acrylic right where the new growth is. And I say small to medium size because it depends on the width of the nail that I'm working on and I'm only going to be applying this to the exposed natural nails making sure that my cuticle area and sidewall is nicely sealed in and then I'm going to lightly feather the new acrylic to meet the old acrylic looking at those nails from all different angles to make sure that my application is as flawless as it can possibly be and if I think that the nail needs a little more acrylic then I'm going to add it so I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process to all the nails and if you guys interested in seeing how I actually prepare my clients nails for an acrylic infill I will have that video in the cards on the screen so you guys can go ahead and check it out now I want to take this time to wish every single mom out there dad who's a mom you know holding down the fort a very happy special mother's day to you i know we mothers every day but i just want to send my love to each and every one of you So this is what my application looks like. I did go ahead and file shape and buff off camera. And now we're ready for my nail art design. So I'm going in with this gorgeous peachy color and this is actually one of their new releases from I think last month if not the month before and I will have the list to all the names of every single gel that I use in this video in my description box below also go ahead and use my 30% of coupon code so that way you save yourself some extra money as well and now I'm going in with this plum gel polish and I'm going to coat the entire nail after doing this I do go ahead and cure her hand in the light for 30 seconds to be taking the same plum color and I'm going to do two coats to the entire thumbnail as well. So it's not going to be a fabulous set unless it has rhinestones. So what I'm doing is I'm placing my gem gel around the cuticle area. And on top of that, I'm applying my no wipe gel top coat. And I am going to go in and place my crystals into that wet gel. And to do this, I am using my McCart rhinestone picker tool. And I realized that my finger was in the way while I was editing this video. So what I'm doing now is I'm just positioning those rhinestones right where I want it. Make sure there are no drag marks in my gel top coat so I'm just going to go back in with my no wipe gel top coat brush and smoothen that out clean up my sidewalls and cuticle area from any gel and remove any excess at the free edge so that I don't lose my shape and then I flash cure that for 15 seconds I'm going to go in and repeat the exact same steps on this nail Thank you. 
also on her ring finger and middle finger on her right hand and the ring finger on her left hand i am going in with this really nice off white gel polish and i'm really loving this as a background color now i do two coats and cure in between each coat for 30 seconds now the simple nails are finished let's get on with her accent nails so on the middle finger on her right hand we're going to coat the entire nail in a marble design and i'm using my diy alcohol inks to do this i'm using orange i did try pink and the purple however i really love how the orange and purple look together so i didn't even bother using much of that pink and i'm going in with a 3d brush and some acetone in order to create my marble now i did start off wanting it just in the center of this nail alone but then i decided to cover the entire nail like just go marble crazy with the alcohol inks so that's what i'm going to do and as you guys know i have a video on how i created my alcohol inks i would list it in my description box below i also have a how to marble step by step video using the same diy alcohol inks and i show you guys exactly what you need to do in order to achieve the best marble possible so i will also link that in my description box as well so you guys have a chain of videos to check out and enjoy after this one so i'm just going to continue to play around with the marble until i'm happy with it and then i'm going to come in and do the next step I always tell you guys with nails nothing is ever a mistake there's always a way to fix it so I included this clip to show you I wanted to take this glitter gel polish and outline some of the veins but it wasn't turning out how I wanted it to and I did not use my top coat to protect my marble so I'm just taking a 3d brush and I'm going to smudge that glitter out in between the alcohol ink marble also removing some of the excess glitter and placing it at the tip and now I'm taking that same detailer brush and I'm going to follow the marble of the alcohol ink behind the glitter and I'm just going to draw out some of those veins with my black gel polish and every fault is a fashion would you guys believe I actually love how the black showed up in my marble like it was just so stunning and I was really happy with the way that it turned out to be honest So on her middle finger, I'm going to be creating a side profile of a butterfly. Now inside of my butterfly wings, I do want to use my alcohol ink. So I'm just sort of guesstimating where I want those wings to be positioned. And I'm using a very light touch of my 3D brush with some acetone just to give a very light marble as the background for the butterfly wing now for this i did leave it in real time so you guys can see how fast or how slow whichever one you prefer to call it i work especially when it comes to the art portion of my designs i do take my precious time to make sure that it's what i want and this being even more so because i did not go in and protect the butterfly wing because i need to go in and clean up around it if it is that any alcohol ink is outside of the wing and now I'm going in with my gel paint and I am going to be drawing the details of the wing out. So I am going to leave me drawing the rest of the butterfly in real time so you guys can go ahead and watch and follow along. And I'll meet you guys right back.
so for the final nail we're going to be doing a French with some line work so I did start it already and unfortunately I did not press record what's new I need to get one of those like automatic buttons where I can just press rather than having to press the top of my phone on my Archon mount I need to work something out when it comes to that and yes I do use my Archon clip on mount for recording and for those of you who are interested check out the link in my description box I do have a coupon code for that as well for the lines on this design it was really just random but I did include the colors that we've been using throughout this entire set so after drawing each set of lines with each color, I did go ahead and give it a flash kill of 10 seconds. And to make these lines look really sharp and crisp, I'm going in with my black gel paint and a striping brush and we're going to outline them. And when I'm finished with the outlining, I am going to give this nail a full kill for 30 seconds. And now to complete this nail, I am going in with some gem gel and some crystals down the center of my lines. I'm also using this metal rectangle piece as well for the very first time and some micro beads. And when I'm happy with the way that everything is placed and before I cure my gem gel, I'm going to smoothen all that nail with my no wipe gel top coat and then go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds and everything is cured and that gel has cooled i'm going to go in and apply some cuticle oil and that was it for this set i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you know what to do go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up i will really appreciate it and click on that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and why not just turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss out the next time your girl uploads a new video and stay tuned to the end where i share with you guys the final result of this set i really love how this set turned out and i hope you guys do as well let's play a little game with this video leave me the emoji that you think best describes your mom in the comments i'm really looking forward to it and i'm excited so that is it for me i want to wish all you mamas again a very happy mother's day i hope you had a blessed and wonderful one and as always i would love for you guys to stay glamorous keep safe and i'll see you soon